Fisto. Try getting away with naming a character Fisto nowadays. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm David Marcel, and today we're taking a look at shopping in Switzerland. We're going to Dark Dimensions out in Altwil, a specialized toy shop who has a great collection of vintage action figures. Dark Dimensions realized early on that their niche customers will come to them, regardless of where they are, and this has allowed them to rent space outside of the city. And because of this, they've managed to get a good merchandise to rent ratio out in Alshwil in the factory district. You can find the Ghostbusters rubbing elbows with the goon, Brave Star, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Toxic Crusaders. You can find boxes and boxes of old comic book back issues. So hey everybody, I'm here with Roland and he's gonna tell me a little bit about Dark Dimensions. So, for starters, you work here in a great toy shop. You've got a ton of comics, action figures. What's your favorite comic series? Well, there could be only one. I really would say it's my favorite is Batman. Awesome. I love right. it since I was a kid and it's, it's like the best. Do you have a favorite action figure line? More than one. I'm a kid from the 80s, so of course like Masters of the Universe and Transformers and G.I. Joe and Right. If you take a look around here, it looks yeah, like... Yeah, there's a ton of stuff yeah. around here from that era. Your favorite character, you already said Batman. Is there a runner-up? The Joker. The classic. Mirror images. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, what kind of stuff do you offer here? Well, I see there's a lot of vintage action yeah. figures. Well, we'll have like, of course, the action figures, statues, but also like parts for the toys, like uh, heads and... Custom-made heads, right? Yeah, exactly. Custom-made okay. heads, specialty magazines for collecting toys, or a lot of stuff. I saw some uh, Japanese Transformers back yeah. there as well. So do you also have limited edition stuff? Yeah, right. most of the time they're quickly sold out. It's always the case. Yeah. How did you guys get into the specialization in vintage toys? Well, when we started to sell toys, we started with, uh, selling our own stuff from our own collection. And then people just love to get their old toys back. So we started to get more, more of the old toys and bought some whole collections and look out everywhere to get some more stuff. So if I come in and I say I want a specific figure which you don't have, like say I want the Kenner Batman that turns into Bruce Wayne, can you hunt that down for me? Yeah, we always try our best to satisfy our customers. It's, it's, it's always depending on how much you want to pay, of course, and what yeah. figure it is. What kinds of payment do you guys accept in the store? Uh, all kinds of payment you can pay like in cash, uh, but also with credit card. My personal favorite department in the shop is the pre-owned figures area. Here you get a ton of figures from all sorts of lines. They're all pre-owned, but they're mostly complete. And what I really like about these is I can take a look at them. I can hold them in my hand. I can tell if they're actually what I want to buy and not some cheap Chinese knockoff like I'd get on eBay most of the time. Now, I see you guys have a lot of pre-owned figures. Do you also buy figures? Like, can I walk into the store and say, hey, I've got this, will you buy it? Or? Uh, always, always. Okay. I cannot guarantee that we really buy it, but you can always come to our place with your toys and mm -hmm. show us, and maybe we buy it, or maybe we can work out a trade. So do you guys have something that's a bestseller product right now? Well, the Mass of Junior's Classics figure is always selling good. And you mentioned you guys sell custom heads. Um, do you buy these from somewhere, or do you make them yourselves? We we'll make them by ourselves. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, for what figures are they? They are for the masses of the universe mm -hmm. figures, um, but you, of course, can use it with other figures too. I mean, it's, it's up to you what you do. But best okay. fit is for like the masses of the universe class. So they're figures. made for the ball joint on. Yeah, on the exactly. Okay. They work perfect for them. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. I'm gonna take a look around. Sure. I'll probably be here for a while. Yeah. And um, if I need anything, I'll be yeah, sure just, to ask you. Yeah. Sure. So, Roland, thanks a Thank lot. Thank you very much, David. My thing, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right here. Brave Star. Look at these, Street Sharks. <laughs> Remember these? Vin Diesel was crazy for these. He, like, did a commercial for them where he's like, oh.
the goon. I'm I'm getting this one. <laughs> I'm definitely getting this one. You remember these? From I think it was 1992, the talking G.I. Joe figures? I wonder if they still work. Hmm. Let's make Roland hate me. Elfquest? They got Elfquest figures. And this is for me. This is like the uh, three own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. And most of them look like they're actually very complete. I wonder if they have the Triceraton. They do, they do have the Triceraton. I'm definitely getting this too. Crab Hand Lionel. Bucky O'Hare. Earthworm Jim. This product is not a toy. It is a collector's item and not for children. It has sharp edges and parts which can be swallowed. Okay, so it's not for me. Be sure to check out their website, and if you're in Allspiel, walk on in. It's really worth it. Also, please like and subscribe, leave me a comment down below, share this video with your friends, and check in next week when I'm looking at Dark Dimension's sister company, Motuk Heads.